you want to be youtube this is technical side in here so today i'm going to show you how to get the latest android 13 on your windows 11 with the root axis but first we'll have to enable developer options and virtual machine platform and if you have already know these steps skip to the next section all right first go to star and tap developer settings enable this toggle on developer mode it yes close it now let's enable virtual machine platform by searching for turn windows on or off lock for virtual machine platform give it some time after applying the settings alright so reboot your windows right now after reboting your windows let's download this WSA package you will find the link in the description I have already downloaded this before so I will skip this part or let's cancel I will close this window I will minimize this window so the downloaded package I will extract it using 7-zip tool wait for the extracts alright so open the extracted folder so double click on run now it's gonna install all the required files on your windows 11 Let's continue now. Press any key to exit. So I will just close this window, go to star, go to Windows subsystem for Android. Let's check some settings before. see this as as needed or continues and keep the other syntax as defaults so now enable developer mode and hit manage developer settings all right after opening scroll down Go to default USB configuration to install Play Store and Magisk. Alright, set it to file transfer. Alright, that's it. So just close this or minimize it. Now let's check if Play Store has installed or not. As you must see, Magisk has installed successfully, and here's the Play Store. Let's open it. Click 
Gue awal susah nih Oke, okay, I'm gonna blow this this parts of my sensitive information. All right, so let's check for what access by downloading this app card roots checker and start it Let's open the app. It's agree. This will fire rules. Our grants access is rooted. The device is Pixel 5 and the rate 13. Alright, so the next step I'm gonna install a launcher to find all installed applications on it. You could select any launcher from there. For me, I will go with Microsoft Launcher. So let's open it. You will find here all and start applications for easy access. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this.